chose the name Magnolia Room because that was the dining room at the old downtown Riches back in the day. It is the old recipes. It's soul food, it's comfort food, it's how your grandmother cooked. Soul food is all about the seasoning that you put in, but more than anything, it's about the love that you put into the food. If you don't put love in the food, it's not gonna be real soul food. But here, they got that. Well, it reminds me of mother's cooking down to earth. You see it, you go down the line, I want that, and give me some extra gravy on that. So it's interactive as you go down the line, but once you go down the line, voila, you've got your meal. Kind of started at the old s, s cafeteria where they were loyal customers because of the food there. It's a great place to eat. I've been eating here even before Lewis had it. I hate the previous place for years. We are family. I had known these people for 16 years and uh, we were devastated when the old uh, s, s cafeteria in Embry Hills that had been open for 43 years was going to close. Most everybody ate at s, s for years and years. We know the employees there and they came over here. When I met Lewis and I was working at s, &S cafeteria, I was there for about 10 years. Lewis and I was one of our, some of our customers and while they were preparing this restaurant, he was taking care of us. We're also so excited because we feel like we've made it better because the ingredients now that we're cooking with are so much better. We are incredibly grateful for the support of so many people. It's a testament to the fact that this is more than a restaurant, this is a family. We've offered the curbside. We have the online ordering and now we have the takeout shops. I felt like the most important thing we needed to do was to make the dining room safe with these cove barriers uh, where guests can be seated comfortably in privacy with a good measure of safety and protection. Some of the stuff is actually better than Mother used to make and Mother was a great cook, let me tell you. Gary is our ambassador and everybody knows Gary and when you come in is welcome to the Magnolia, you'll hear him. Man, what a guy. I mean, what a guy. I mean, he's the first one that goes, hey, Jerry, how you doing? He always remembers my name. The, the, the genuineness, the care, ask them how they doing. Is it something you can do for them? They love that. Our head chef, Chef Carl Lee, he has been cooking this cuisine for over 30 years. We have core items that we run every day, but every day we've got at least three new items that we're rotating on the menu. We've got 14 vegetable choices. Turns are off the chain for us to veggie. The meat, we got a chopped steak, people love. Country steak, the people love. You know, I actually had the country steak for the first time today, and it was, I'd be having that again, <laughs> without a doubt. The lasagna is great. I noticed they had it today, but I had it Sunday. My lasagna. Oh, the fried chicken is great. Anytime I come here, I get the fried chicken or I get the chicken sandwich. It's real good. Personally, I like the Hawaiian chicken. That is fit for a five-star cruise ship. We are really aiming to do five-star quality. They have them seasoned pleasantly. It's got to taste good off the line. I think it's seasoned to perfection. Yes, it's a lot of it in the seasoning, okay? Our, our collard greens are good because they're seasoned with a ham hock. Oh, desserts are good. Red velvet cake. Pecan pie. Cherry cobbler, I like that. First of all, all of our desserts are made by scratch. Even the crust on the pies are made here. And nobody does that anymore. If you're something simple, our egg custard pie. We're really well known for our pecan pie. Coconut and raisin Jeff Davis pie that is to die for. And you have to have a sweet tooth. of the cafeteria concept is uh, once you have your food and you're seated the waitress or the waiter can really focus on keeping your tea nice and full and fresh getting you any sauces that you need that sort of thing uh, well what I love about coming here of course besides the food is the people I mean uh, when you walk in that I mean you just get greeted so warmly the service is good the waitresses are good People working here is like a family. Everybody know everybody. They come and they always greet you. And it's kind of like they know what you like when you come down the line and they always give me the best piece of food. So it's always good. <laughs> and since we've been in Tucker, the people in Tucker ain't showed us nothing but love. They have great customer service and the food is always amazing. 
We, we kind of think of ourselves as a, a preservation society where we're passionate about keeping this bit of culinary history alive. This is important to us. We're not going out and trying a new restaurant. We're back where we belong. Great food, but what's even better than food is the people that work here and the, and the people that eat here, yeah. like myself. Yeah. <laughs> if you can make them feel warm and welcome and give them good food, what else can they ask for? I want them to feel that they've experienced authentic food, that they really have tasted something that, that feels real. Mm -hmm.